so it begins. Our New York City trip began by checking in our hotel on Times Square. We then did a little shopping at the flagship Invicta store. We finished off the night by walking through Times Square and getting dessert. Hey guys, welcome back to another weekend vlog. As you can tell, I am in New York City. I'm so excited. Oh. We're here for the weekend to celebrate my husband and I our 16 year wedding anniversary. August 13th, 2005 was when we got married. We started dating in June of 1998. So we've been together for a really long time. We're just here for the weekend celebrating, exploring the city. If you could see, I have mascara under my eyes. I'm gonna clean that. I'm gonna show you how to do that. Super, super easy. I'm letting it dry, first of all. You never want to go in and fix your mascara when it's wet, so don't do that. Fresh white socks. I'm gonna put some lotion on my feet. Every morning I do this. Take care of your feet, ladies. This is the Plant Therapy Healing Balm. This is pretty awesome stuff. The ingredients are just shea butter, sunflower seed oil, coconut oil, tamanu oil, olive oil, and calendula. That's it. I'm feeling myself today. Hey, show me up it. Come. These fresh shorts. <laughs> this guy. You mess up and you get mascara on your face. This is what you do. You let it dry. Let it get like crusty. Then you just get a Q-tip and you bloop, 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 flake it off. All right, we're good to go. Let's go. So many stairs. Starting our morning off right, we hit up this place called Carve that's just on the southeast corner of 47th and 8th Ave. Their food is amazing and so are their prices. <laughs> we then enjoyed a two mile beautiful walk through Upper West Side, New York to Central Park. We climbed the famous Summit Rock, stood at the top and enjoyed the view. It was at this moment that I experienced that overwhelming sense of inspiration that New York gives. On my bucket list was to be able to relax in Central Park and feed the birds. So it felt good to be able to cross that off. We also visited the famous Dalehead Arch. So many movies and shows have been filmed here. Of course, I had to take advantage and try the acoustics. You provide the spirit And I will open up inside Fill me up that was fun. On our way out of Central Park, we decided to take a pedicab back to Times Square. And of course, where did we go to for lunch? Carve. They make the best homemade pizzas. We couldn't pass it up. New York City is known for its busyness, but we wanted to take it slow and savor every moment. So we made it priority to be present without the stress. Speaking of savoring, I had some pink berry frozen yogurt. It was so good, I'm still thinking about it. After a day in the city, we took an Uber to the Bronx to see our brother Kike and his beautiful family. They just recently had a baby boy and he is so cute. Mm. That baby smells so yummy. The little baby so we happy. bought. The baby we bought. The baby we bought. <laughs> Our brother Kike's amazing wife Sadie made us a delicious dinner. Authentic, savory, and it was nice to share a homemade meal. <laughs> We're laughing so hard, my cheeks hurt. <laughs> We're so glad we took the time to see them. Good morning, guys. Happy Sunday, day three here in New York. I'm getting ready for the day. So far, it's been such an awesome experience. I don't know why I'm hunched over like this. <laughs> let, me, let me sit down. Again, putting my lotion and stuff. Aguita fría. H2O. Yes. All right, so we're gonna go start the day, get a bite to eat. And <laughs> I can't see. They see you look. Wait there, wait there. Wait, wait there. Let's go. And after a hearty breakfast, we began our day with a leisurely morning walk to the one and only Grand Central Station. 
oh my gosh, if there's one thing New York has, is so many stairs. If you're ever in New York, you have to visit Grand Central Station. It's just a classic. And while we watched the hustle and bustle, my husband decided to get two tickets to the Bronx. And no, this wasn't some random impulse decision that he had. He'd been wanting to do this for a really long time. By this, I mean seeing his aunt's home that he frequently visited as a child. My husband spent countless summers and vacations with Titi Nancy. She loved him so much and was such an awesome aunt to him. I met Titi Nancy back in 2002 and she was the sweetest. But unfortunately she passed so we didn't get to have a proper goodbye. This was my husband's chance to finally have closure. Traveled really far for this. I was really excited for him. A true and utter disappointment kicked in when we realized that her house had been torn down and there was a giant fence around it. We just couldn't believe it. The only thing peeking behind these diamond windows were beautiful yellow flowers and tall trees. Sorry, baby. Although it wasn't what we expected, it was pretty symbolic if you ask me. Titi Nancy left my husband nothing but beautiful memories, just like those beautiful flowers. I got a lot of squeak knees on this little bit shift. Slabs of concrete all over there. And as we all know, there are moments and people in our lives that we will never forget. They've impacted us in one way or another, and they help shape us to who we are today. Titi Nancy did that for my husband, and we'll never forget her. Que descanse en paz, Titi Nancy. And after basking in the beauty of the Bronx, we got two tickets to head back to Manhattan. We had to hurry back because I had someone really special to meet. So I'm here with my girl Lala. Hey, it's <laughs> been two years yeah, and we finally ever. met. Lala and I have been online friends through Instagram for the last two years and she lives in New York. It was so awesome to see her. <laughs> so I'm getting ready for our last night in New York. We're about to go eat a really nice dinner. So I'm going to go put on my shoes and we're out of here. Happy Monday guys, today is our last day here in New York. Probably gonna just explore the sea a little bit more and then head to the airport and go home. Um, our flight leaves later on this afternoon. So we're gonna take advantage of any last little bit of time that we have. We're packing up our bags. Am I the only one that makes the bed in a hotel? <laughs> I can't help it. I don't like to see a messy bed at home. When we're away, anywhere we stay at, I have to make the bed. It's just me. I just can't. I can't have a messy bed. Anyway, so let's get this day started. I had been wanting to visit the New York City Public Library our entire trip. If you've never been there, what are you waiting for? It is truly something special. The floors and the walls are made of pure marble. It's three stories of gorgeousness. I mean, stunning architecture. The New York City Public Library is a historic landmark that has been around for over 120 years. This isn't just any other building. It's different. You teach, you learn, you expand your knowledge here. And you can also get in a telephone booth. <laughs> I always enjoy visiting the library, and you never know, God willing, my books just might be on these shelves one day. While heading to our next destination, I discovered a Decium store, so I had to go in. I promise you, I was like a little kid in a candy store. And you know I purchased some goodies. Their products are way too good. They're like a New York hot dog. I don't know what it is about New York hot dogs, but it has everything I like. Onions, mustard, ketchup, special hot sauce. New York, air, 
if you listen to it closely, there's a New York accent that's into it. It's amazing. For that. Our last stop before leaving New York was visiting the St. Patrick's Cathedral. Although we're not Catholic, we still found this place absolutely beautiful. This incredible building stands at over 330 feet tall and seats over 2,400 people. You know, as a Christian and having the gift of discernment, my spiritual eyes and ears were wide open on this trip. I saw people that genuinely needed Jesus. And honestly, sometimes walking the streets would break my heart. We're all on our own spiritual walk, and I respect that. But this trip reminded me that as the body of Christ, we need to be praying harder. All right, guys, so that's it. We're headed now to the airport. Gonna go back home. We had a great time. Yeah, too good of a time. Too good of a time. We don't want to leave. All right, so that is the end of this video. We hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell button so you don't miss out on future videos. God loves you. So do we. And so do we. Bye. Wait, slap the camera. I don't have a free hand. Slap the camera. No. Yeah, go. <laughs> Where are you going? Look a rat. Little rat. Little rat. What the heck? Maybe go to the So 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 Thank you, Swan. Stay.